Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back. I've got a really long one in store today. We're going to be recreating on our factor 2 the 2020 Rolex 24 at Daytona. Now this event is definitely one of my favorites on the motorsport calendar. It's the first real major endurance event that we come around to watch each year. Now I have managed to compile a bunch of different mods together here on our factor 2 that gives us the full DPI class, the full LMP2 class, most of the GTE class and most of the GT D class. Now for those unfamiliar with the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, there are four of the categories that I just said that sort of makes up the series. Now for today's race, I'm not actually going to do the entire 24 hours because of the fact, one, I'd probably die if I tried doing that. Two, the AI cannot actually physically cope with racing 24 hours around the track. I think we'd end up with probably three cars at the end of this race. So like I usually do with my races offline, I do sort of 50%. So we're actually gonna race 12 hours. So I've employed through much delegation and careful consideration, the two best AI co-drivers in the North American racing scene. So joining me tonight slash today will be Mac and Dale. Now they're gonna take over for me in between stints. So I'm not doing the full 12 hours. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna start the race and finish the race and do a couple different bits in between. They just do what you know, a single driver would do in a, in a 24 hour endurance event. The car we are going to be driving today is the one and only Penske Acura DPI. Now this car is a beast. I love the paint schemes. Unfortunately they didn't do too well this year in the actual event. I also had a choice of the Cadillacs. So you can see we got all the Cadillacs from the 2020 season. I also actually uh, could have chosen one of the Mazdas or Mazdas as we say here in the UK slash Australia. So we got the 55 and the 77, but I just couldn't, I couldn't look past the Acura, man. It's just such a cool looking race car. Now in terms of the track uh, we'll be driving on today, I've got a mod here that's slightly probably out of date. It's not quite got all the same sort of lines and curbs and just grandstands that the current Daytona road course has, but it's still the track in itself. It's still the same layout and corners and whatnot. Now for anyone that has R-Factor, uh, the settings I'm gonna be using today, we're gonna have 100% damage multiplier so we cannot hit anything 120 percent so maxed out the uh ai strength i've done a little bit of a practice session before this and got a grip on what these settings need to be ai aggression 40 percent we're gonna have 38 ai drivers in today's race so we've got a big field mechanical failures off because all the cars would be out of the race by uh by the halfway point if we had them on tire wear times two because we're doing half distance race fuel usage times two uh, so we get plenty of pit stops in there now flag rules i've had to take the safety car off because the AI on R Factor 2 just can't seem to cope with dealing with a safety car. And yeah, I've managed to get all the same weather settings that the uh, 2020 race had. Without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this video. Okay, so just done a quick qualifying session where we struggled a little bit. I'm not going to lie, our pace is a little bit further off than I'd like. We're starting eight out of the eight DVIs in this race, but it's a long race. Uh, I was thinking about dropping the difficulty, but I tell you what, I like a challenge. So we'll, we'll we'll see how we get on. So just FYI, we got eight DPIs in this race. We've got five uh, LMP2s and the rest are just GT, LM and GTD cars. I haven't got the Ferrari 488 in here and we've got the old uh, Corvette. Besides that, we've just got a range of different GTD cars that we're going to have to navigate through uh, throughout the entirety of this race. So here we go. Set off on our formation lap. So how it's going to work is we're going to do the first stint, first hour of the race. Then my AI special teammate, uh, Dale, is going to take over. He's going to do the second hour and then I might jump in throughout the night. Oh man, I am so pumped for this. I've been looking forward to this all week. Finally got all the mods together, all the settings together. All right, pace cars pulling off. 12 hours of racing. Rolex 24 at Daytona on R Factor 2, we're off. There's gaps, but I'm not gonna go that crazy this early on. Oh, I don't know what the AI is gonna do through turn one. So we're just gonna go right around the outside. Gosh, crap, now we're behind the LMP2s. Way too deep there. Big squeeze up the inside. Way too hot into that turn one. That's got to be one of the hardest turn ones or first corners in American motorsport. Pull it up. There we go. All 
All right, well, we survived the infield for the first lap. Just going to do it for another 11 hours and 59 minutes now. All right, so this is where we should pull away from the LMP2 category. Now, during the practice session, I was faster through bus stop than the AI, but slower through the infield. So we're going to have to maximize our strengths and minimize our weaknesses. Good exit. All right. Oh, it's peaking. No. We're there first, mate. Woohoo! Man, we got some pace down the straight. I'll tell you what. First lap in the books. Oh, we've a bit of a nudge. Someone ended up in the fence. So slow through this infield. Come on, Joseph. Concentrate. Oh, Jesus. Man, they got some drive off of there. Alright, let's tuck back in. Don't want to fight too much. Let the, uh, lead group of five cars get away this car ahead actually won this race in real life the Conica Minolta number 10 went in very deep there First in. Terrible through there, come on. Focus, Joseph. Entry just got nothing on exit. AI just engaged some sort of VTEC. Oh, mind you, I can't really complain. I did set him to the highest difficulty. Yeah, I am actually trying out this new overlay uh, right now. I downloaded it off of Sim, uh, no, Race Department. It's sort of a plugin called SimHub where you can have different overlays from different games so the, the actual the audio the overlays you see in the top left and top right corners are from Assetto Corsa so we're now coming up to the back of the GTD field C2 Mercs in front of us oh, this is going to be scary please don't kill me please don't kill me Woo! thread the needle Gosh, there is a huge kerfuffle ahead. Be really careful with the GTDs because they can actually, oh my god, look at this. They can actually break quite late. I 
lot later than you anticipate. Uh, but we're going to have to pit here shortly. Just get past all these GTDs before the... Oh my god, don't do it. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's not cool. Oh, where is everyone going? Oh, Alright, well there's two spots. Oh, no. Come on, AI, sort your, sort your life out. Alright, well we've just gone from... Uh, I think, oh, I think a couple of the uh, DPIs are pitting, so we're up to fourth. Just getting like four positions in <laughs> the space of one. Oh, don't hit him, don't hit him. Whew. Man, that was too close. Okay, I, know, I know they can break leg, but I can't break that late. Right, so we're coming up to, I think this is the back. Still might be the GT, no, it's still GTD, so I haven't quite caught the GTLM lot yet, but Oh no, that's a, that's our teammate. Oh, Jesus. So we've just passed our teammate. That's the rest of the DPI's pitting. So we will take the lead. Oh, nailed it. I love it when you nail turn one. It's such a good feeling. Alright, we're in. Have we got damage? Have we got Oh yeah, we did get hit. Probably should have repaired all of that. Are we really going to shake out behind LMP2? God damn, we are too. Alright, we've got a lot of traffic here. Oh my god, this get messy ahead. Please don't kill each other. Oh, Jesus, there he is. I was looking in my mirror trying to figure out where he'd gone. Alright, so we're up into fifth. With that pass. I have actually raced here once in real life. Uh, actually won a national championship here in the SCCA runoffs a couple of years ago. That was in a Formula car, so nowhere near as fast and as powerful as this thing. But still though, this track is actually amazing to drive on. I, just the road course version is un, unreal. You really get like a stadium style atmosphere when you go around here. You're in some sort of arena, which you sort of are. When you come off turn four and you have that massive grandstand that just appears to you, especially at night when it's all lit up, it's just unreal. Do miss, do miss visiting this racetrack and actually Florida as well. I love, love the state, love Orlando, love Daytona, love Tampa. I'm too fast on Miami, but not really much that I'm interested. In down there, all the, all the good stuff's up a little bit higher. Can't wait to get back to the states once this pandemic is over. Hopefully, one day. Probably the best lap I've done so far through the infield. Quarter is second up. This is this has been a really fun first half an hour to this race. I must admit, loving these mods. Loving our factor two altogether, to be honest. I haven't driven it. I drove a lot of. Uh, I've driven much of it. Sorry, I drove a lot back in the day in 
R factor the first one, but the gear there somewhere. Man, they have improved this a lot. Still plenty of bugs though with the AI, but that's what happens when you have a bunch of different mods on a bunch of different sort of stuff all jumbled together. Just one sort of core game behind it. Just nip past the Mazda before he chucks it back up the inside. Oof. Big move. Sorry, I'll let him have it for now. Get him back later. Stop. Slipstream, engage! When you Mazda piece of shit. Oof. Man, we hit VTEC there, Jesus. <laughs> Either that or he slammed on the brakes. Oh, so much extra speed into turn one, wasn't expecting to go that deep. Stuck behind the Aston. Oh, slow Lambo. That doesn't look good. That looks fuel. The, uh, the LMP2 cars are a lot more competitive here on R Factor than what they are in real life. As we're just coming towards the end of the second sort of fuel stint. Let's see how, what's our speed going to be here. Lovely draft. Look, 195. 6, 97, 98, and hard on the anchors. 198 miles an hour. So we are going a good one to two laps further on fuel than the AI, so... We should hopefully be a full pit stop ahead at some point. Amongst the GTLM battle here, we got two buses, big BMWs. I do love this car, but even the new one's just insane. Watching it race this year. Oops. One of those cut off. Yeah, watching them race around Daytona under lights this year was just awesome. Actually, the GTLM battle this year, in general, was insane between the Porsche, Porsches and the. Uh, BMWs, but it's such a shame seeing the Fords go. Alright, how the tyres look at that stint? See, you can see here on the on the inside there's like the pink strip where I've just continuously locked them up. I, I can feel the wheels slowly starting to vibrate where I've just pinched the inside tyre. I really need to get used to braking in a straight line. I keep braking and trying to trail brake it in, which is costing me not really costing me, well it's costing me lap time, but it's mainly costing me uh, the inside of my tyres. Second grab of the clutch, but we're alright. Come out third. Lifting coast here, we're not going to get past this. Mercedes. Definitely a skill you have to learn, sort of the art of saving fuel and making up overall lap time or race time through utilising the traffic. So if you know you're not going to get past a car by a certain corner, then coast. Just make that stint a little bit longer if you can, get that extra lap. Across, works across all platforms, sim racing platforms, used to do it a lot in iRacing endurance events. Oh, that 
that's way too deep. Oof, survived. A bit aggressive for uh, <laughs> 45 minutes into the race. Thing is, the grass is really slippery on this uh, on this sim. Straight in the big block. What a battle, battle for third in this. Oh, that's that's very deep. That's very deep. Ah. Oh, come back. I think just in the first 45 minutes, we've had a battle with pretty much every single car in our in our class, and probably half of the LMP2s as well. Let's see if we can get get this master back. Come from a long way back in the slipstream. Oh, big spinner down the infield. What's happened there? Oh, Jesus. Okay, that just happened. Always look where you're going, lads. Never take your eyes off the road. Oh, gee, man. Nearly killed me. obliterated that Mazda. <laughs> Damn, boy. Whoa, where are you going? Jesus. Oh, my God. Well, at least the uh, AI are really sick. It's the amount of times that's happened to me on iRacing. And this lap's just been crazy. What's happening? Everyone's just lost their minds. Any damage, that's the question. Yeah, we've got a little bit on the front, so we'll have to fix that. We come down pit road next time. Oh my days. Still can't get over that shit that went down going into the pit lane. Got the master back again second so I wonder if anyone in our category was involved in that. That'd be interesting. Uh oh this this isn't gonna end well. I'm gonna I'm gonna back it down here because I don't know who's going to the pit lane and who's not. It's the problem with this this track it's not actually the series or the car mods it's the track for some reason as the AI just hits straight off the banking. Oh, hello. No. Oh, my. Okay, I have no idea what just happened, but just almost destroyed an LMP2 car. That's right. Still alive. Just. Slow Porsche without a rear wing. Something's definitely happened. In turn one. Even though it's saying that the uh, tyres are only gone down 10%, I still feel the, the lack of grip. I want to imagine what they're like if they're down to 20 or 10%. Man, he broke way earlier than I thought he was there. Uh, we're gonna hit this lap because I don't like following this Mustang sampler number five. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Joseph, sort it out. Alright, Dale, we're coming down to pit road, man. Get ready. So, AI taking over, 
Dale is in the car. And first hour done, we survived. Okay, so Dale's exiting the pits right now. Uh, we are currently in sixth position now that we've sort of gotten all the damage fixed. He's gonna go and do a couple of stints and uh, we'll soon see how we get on in our next stint, which will probably be sometime during the night. So good start to the race. Just gotta keep it going. All right, so back in the car, we have around uh, nine hours and 53 minutes left in this motor race. So a long way to go. Oh, God, man, it's so hard to pull away in these things. Anyway, Dale's done a decent job. Uh, managed to keep the car on track. We've lost a little bit of time, but still in the top five. Just see how we get over the next hour or so. Man, this is this is weird racing Daytona under lights. It's like going back to the old iRacing days. In terms of endurance racing, this track is actually quite short, so you can get a clear lap. It's a miracle, even with 38 cars on the track. We've got the 77 and 55 Madison's one, two. They're a lap ahead, though. Really hard. I'm just trying to adjust right now to all the new sort of reference points now that the sun's gone down and we're basically racing in the night. It's really hard to see sort of. I'm one of those drivers that uses the grooves in the track rather than braking markers. I hate, I hate sort of used my peripheral vision off to the side unless the marker's like virtually on the side of the track. And that was <laughs> that was a little bit aggressive. We got that phantom yellow flag. Seems to be on pit entry every single lap. every lap. I just wanted to make sure, see if it was actually that corner that was doing it. Oh my, okay. Oh my god, that just happened. Holy. Jesus, just got doored by a Lamborghini. I keep forgetting that the AI just pit from the bloody middle of the racetrack. Is there any real bummer about this track? again by the other Lamborghini. Alright, well we have a little bit of damage bent steering on the right front so we we'll have to get that fixed on the next stop. It already takes like 49 odd seconds to do tyres. Alright, 52 seconds. Uh, oh, that's not gone well. Terrible, terrible start to this second stint. Alright, now let's see if we can protect these tyres. Make it two fuel stints instead of one. So that go and understeer the hell out of them <laughs> going into the horseshoe. There goes the bottom of the car. That's the way, stupid German piece of scheisse. Oh, that took way longer than it needed to. Yeah, see, we're down, we're actually still down on straight line speed, even though we fixed the damage. So this is going to hamper us for the rest of the race. It's not gone well. Yeah, look, we're barely, barely reaching 190 now. Ah, my days. I 
Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Keep it up the fence. Keep it up the fence. Oh, it's dirt tracking. I don't know what happened there, but way too deep. Grass it. Ooh, love a little bit of grass. The Mustang, there's Mustang sampling number five. It's worth the pace. I say that, it goes and <laughs> launches one. Oh, bro, get fucked. Did he just go around the... Oh my god. <laughs> he just went around the outside of that AMG. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, well we just completely... <laughs> Overshot that corner. Far out, that was close to obliterating that Porsche. Again with the bus stop, man. Sort that shit out. Alright, here we go. Dive in, dive out. Fuel only. No damage. No tyres. See how many places we can make up on this next round of pit stops. <laughs> right, well, now that everything's cycled out, we've actually got uh, seven seconds, no, on that. Uh, yeah, 15 seconds out of the Cadillac number five, so the Mustang sampling car that was sort of fighting with us in our last stint. Definitely gain time, but see where we are in reference to everyone else at the end of this fuel run. See whether this double stinning tyres really work. So far, the pace actually hasn't changed much. Balance has changed, though. I can definitely feel it's a lot looser than what it was. I'm barely catching up to GTLMs right now. up against a Aston Martin and now seems to have plucked this right front out of alignment. I don't know what the hell happened there. Oh! Okay. That's the third time I've had to desperately avoid a GTD. Oh my days. That's scary as fuck. Oh my god. Well, another retirement, another another run out of fuel or something's happened there. Right. Got the 31 car right up our gearbox now. So this is the battle for fourth. Oops, 
still gaining in the draft though. Not as much as what we were before we had that incident, but can we make the move? so fast and there's only one line through it and you so much as break just 10 20 feet slightly earlier oh it's going a bit or slightly later sorry and you're you're going for a ride so we're gonna have mac take over uh, not mac no yeah mac we're gonna have mac take over that's it he's the specialist night driver night ai driver his days as a truckie Halfway through, well not halfway through, still got nine odd hours left, but halfway through for me, we're going to come back after the night stint's done. Actually, AI control, take that, take that over, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on towards the end of the race. Oh my gosh, it is way too early for this shit. Alright, well, I'm back awake, uh, we got around 3 hours and 15 minutes to go, and I'm afraid to say that Mac and Dale have seemed to have struggled overnight. Uh, we are in 6th position, and quite a couple of laps down from the leader, so... I'm going to jump in here in about 5 minutes or so. Now, just a little race update, as I'm about 3 hours from the finish. So we started this race with 37 cars on the grid, we've now got 26 still running, I believe. We've had quite a few retirements throughout the night. I oh, know 25 still running. We've lost two DPIs, one of which is the 55 Mazda. The other is the 85 JDC uh, banana boat, whatever you want to call it. We lost three in the LMP2 class. There's actually only two running around uh, in that category. And the rest are obviously uh, just the GTD cars. So, Nikki Tim, uh, Dries and Lawrence Van Thor. So one of the Porsches is gone. The leader of the race is the 77 Mazda. So uh, he's got, I think, just a one lap lead over the sister car, uh, Acura, which is the number six, uh, number seven, sorry. Then it's the Whelan Engineering 31. So we've got a lot of catching up to do. I'm hoping these guys may have some issues towards the end, but, but I think that incident uh, before I went to bed last night really hampered our performance, which is why we're at, uh, we're down on pace and can't seem to make any inroads. All right, so Max brought the car in. Now ready to head out, back out onto this Daytona Speedway as the sun comes up. New day, new dawn. See if we can catch up at least a little bit. I'm sure, it's gonna be really difficult seeing this. <laughs> Breaking markers. Oh. Just assumed where that one was. And we are so slow on the straights, Jesus. I'm starting to think maybe Mac and Dale were in the wars overnight. Maybe there's another incident that I haven't seen, but we are slow. Barely hitting 185 here. Three hours remaining. Let's just get this thing to the finish, I reckon. So we've managed to cut drop 319 laps. So, uh, <laughs> quite a bit. It's currently quarter past eight in the morning. World. Let's reset my force here. But still got quite a way to go. BMW is in the lead of the GTLM category, followed by the two uh, Corvettes, then it's the Porsche. Oh, this is fantastic. off. What new? I need to hit the gym. It's 
quarantine has not been kind. Tyra actually hasn't been too bad on this stint. But I'm still going to take tyres on the stick stop. Double stint the next two fuel runs like we did in the night. Where all the damage? We somehow have got, I don't know how, but we've managed to get damage in this stint. Uh, I haven't hit anything, not that I'm aware of. Alright, 60 seconds, wow, we, okay, we have a lot, quite a lot of damage. Now how the hell that happened? One of these days, I'm going to actually leave the pit lane without having to double pump the clutch. That was the biggest mistake I made when we went into quarantine. It's not getting the haircut beforehand. This trim is just killing me. Right, let's see if our straight line speed is any better now that we've fixed all that. Thing. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> see that delta at the top left just going up and up and up like it was before. To be fair, it wasn't actually the AI drivers who did that, it was me, it was an incident last night. Quite a decent gap all by ourselves right now. God, man, we've got one of the LMP2 cars now right behind us. It's not going well, lads. We are really down on pace right now. Which we must finish. Finish. Oh, it's just a tire line in the <laughs> middle of the track. <laughs> what the hell that was? Someone's had a, a bit of an incident down in turn one. Ooh, oh, 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 okay, okay, we're up into fifth. Just realised. So, the number ten Cadillac has had an issue. to go yet. Alright, so we've gained gained another position. The incident on turn one was probably him. So this year's actual race winner is now out by the looks of it. Alright, let's go. We'll double stint these Michelins. Alright, let's go. Uh, we have an LMP2 on our gearbox. <laughs> just grassing it through the bus stop. And so there's the two leaders going past. Give him a bump drive, shall we? Help him catch up to the leader. <laughs> bump drive in, in a uh, in a DPI, lads. Gotta love our factor two. Alright, we got five laps, four, four laps left in this stint. We'll head back over and let Dale have a, another run at it before the end. What are we running now? So we got the fifth place. We are a lap behind fourth, six laps behind the leader to say that they come down and pit now so still still time left but I think we're just gonna try and nurse this baby to the end done okay 
Right, good old Dale's gonna get in. He's gonna do an hour and then I'll take over for the last run to the finish line. But oh my God, this has been a disastrous second half of the race. Okay, jumping in now for the final stint. Run to the checkered flag. Where are we at? Still in fifth, although we are the last of the DPIs on the uh, track. Also taken, um, we've got some tape on the front of the grill, so hopefully we can get a little bit more straight line speed here in a sec. This last hour is just dragging on and on and on. We get this thing to the finish line. Oh, oh my days. Right, so we're gonna have to put it again. I hope I only get one pit stop in before the end, but damage on this bloody right rear. Hey, mamma mia, cazzo! Cazzo! Okay. Oh. No, why is our engine on fire? Why is our engine on fire? No. Come and field it to the finish. And we've got four minutes to go and my engine's on fire. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Oh. Oh, sorry, it's gone out. No, it's back. Why is my engine on fire? Why is my steering wheel broken? fixed all the damage so I had some damage left over from an incident before and the steering was still not facing straight we got two minutes left it's just <laughs> complete these last two laps we actually have the car that's in six not too far behind us which is one of the LMP2 cars only four seconds behind so we should probably not quite back it off yet Alright, one minute remaining. Oop. Wouldn't be right if I didn't just cut the bus stop one last time before this race is finished. Oh my days. Oh man, we have finished nine laps now. We were in the lead for like the first hour. Well, back and forth. Alright, last lap, 12 hours later. Definitely stay tuned for more IMSA action. Hopefully we can have a better race than this in the next couple. We're gonna head to Sebring and recreate the Sebring 12 hour. She'll be interesting doing that on our factors. Our factor 2 actually has a fully scanned version of Sebring on their store that I'm gonna purchase do that so that's gonna be fun also stay tuned next video I'm gonna probably head over to WRC 8 which is something completely different to this I loved w WRC 7 uh, so we're gonna see what that's like unfortunately you can't get it on the Steam store anymore you got to get it on like Epic Games or whatever it's called so <sighs> but anyway back to Daytona Back to this Acura. We've managed to hit just about everything in this race. We've nursed it to the end. We're in the top five, so uh, I know there's only eight cars, but top five is still better than what we started out in. <laughs> so, anyway, there's the checkered flag. We are done. I am done. I'm going back to bed. Oh my god, what a race! What a race! Far out. Well, thanks guys for tuning in. That was a long one. That was a bit depressing towards the end, about halfway through. But anyway, we had a fun, fun race. Awesome mods. Awesome, uh, awesome track. See some bugs here and there that we've experienced as you do in R Factor 2. But so, in the end, just recapping what went on away from us. The 77 managed to, uh, managed to grab the win. In the DPI, second was our sister car, the other Acura. Then third was the Wheeling, uh, we, Wheeling, Wheeling Engineering 31. In GTLM, it was the big bus, the 25 uh, BMW. Second was the four Corvette. 
Third was the 911, so all three manufacturers that were in the race getting one, two, and three. GTD, it was the 74 Merc, followed by the 47 Lambo, which I think we ran into about three times in this race. And then lastly, it was uh, the Liquid Molly BMW to round off the GTT, G, GTD podium. Oh, man, I'm struggling to even English right now, man. I'm wrecked.